Welcome to Catco TV. My name is Chris Block, yacht broker with the Catamaran Company in Kima, Texas. We're just south of Houston, just north of Galveston on an area called the Galveston Bay. And the smaller area here is Clear Lake. Today we're looking at a 1985 Logical 46 Power Catamaran manufactured by CNC Yachts out of Newport, Rhode Island, made in the USA. She is 46 feet long, has a beam of 23 feet, 10 inches, draft of three feet, three inches, and weighs roughly 26,000 pounds. You'll see she's got quite a bit of room when we go inside. Fuel tanks, 400 gallons, water tanks, 200 gallons, holding tank, 32 gallons. Fully equipped with electronics, including radar, air conditioning, could be a nice liveaboard power cat. Let's take a look around first, and then we'll go inside. If we start here in the bow, you'll notice there was a dinghy included in the purchase, 12 foot dinghy, without board, electric winch on the dinghy davits, easy access with the boarding staircase here, large sugar scoops for either getting on board or getting in from outside off the water. As we come around the sides of the boat, pretty low freeboard, plenty of windows letting natural light in and ventilation. You'll notice the sides, the shades fold out on the sides. There's also a big canopy that comes off on the bow, makes this a great seating area. And then of course you've got the flybridge up top. All fully enclosed, obviously they're opened up right now, but uh, for foul weather, you'll be completely covered. Let's take a look at the other side. Port side of the boat, very similar to the starboard side. You've got your barbecue grill off the stern. Again, a retractable window shade from the interior. Plenty of lights, plenty of airflow. Again, large seating area off the bow. Let's take a look inside. You'll see, very easy to board. Plenty of handholds. Wide staircase to get up. We'll start off in the aft cockpit. As we enter from the starboard side, we come into the aft cockpit. Giant seating room. You'll notice right away the big screen TV, outdoor ceiling fan, outdoor refrigerator, great size table for sundowners. Plenty of people can sit around the sides. You're fully enclosed in case of any kind of bad weather. At the same time, all of these unzip and open up to have plenty of airflow. Let's take a look at the upstairs flybridge. Again, as we come into the flybridge, this is where you're doing, be doing most of your commanding at the helm, as well as a Great area for guests to be seated here or in the large seating area around the back of it. All your instruments, all your controls, again, fully enclosed. We've got them open right now to allow the breeze to come through, but in the event of bad weather, we can close it all up. And if it gets really rough, we can actually drive from downstairs in the interior helm. Take a look out over the bow. You'll see tremendous visibility on both corners. Visibility off the bow as well as off the stern, especially by looking down the staircase we just entered. You can see three out of your four corners. Good view of the side decks from up here. Let's take a look downstairs in the interior. Let's go inside to the saloon. Again, once we're inside, you'll notice common theme on this boat, tremendous amounts of room, making it a great live aboard, uh, a great weekend uh, houseboat if you want. Incredible amount of room, real big table, Folds up for great seating for dinner. Also, the owners have added a lazy boy to really bring the creature comforts of home onto their boat. Again, another big screen TV. Plenty of lighting, plenty of visibility. And as we open up the windows and the screens, plenty of airflow. Air conditioning throughout the boat. This is a three cabin boat with three heads. One of the heads has been converted uh, into a storage area and could be converted back if you wish. Complete controls to run the boat from inside. Duplicate instrumentation all inside. Let's take a look at some of the cabins. I'm going to go down to the owner's cabin on the port side forward. Again, plenty of room to walk. Great handholds. Real big queen size bed. Plenty of light. Very comfortable for the owner. Big storage areas hanging closet, hanging locker, 
chest of drawers over here. And one thing that's really neat, as you slide into the owner's cabin head, you'll notice it actually has a bathtub. Let's go downstairs to the starboard side forward guest cabin. Wide walkway to get down. Similarly sized queen bed. Plenty of light. We've got one of the shades here closed, so there'd be even more light if we open that up. Great storage here. Hanging closet here. And then the ensuite head with separate shower. Let's take a look at the galley. We are on the starboard side, a uh, galley down version. Keeps the galley away from the guests. Feels like a kitchen at home. Plenty of room, microwave, oven, stove, full-size refrigerator. This is also the access to one of the two 200 horsepower Yanmar engines. Real easy to get inside the engine room, do your normal maintenance or check on any issues. And as we look behind the galley, there's another cabin uh, which was converted into a workshop. Uh, obviously it could be uh, converted back to a bed, uh, but you've got complete tools, plenty of room, fuel polishing system. Uh, the owner stores all his charts here, plenty of spare parts. Uh, areas for even more storage. Uh, just a great room, especially if you're doing a long-term liveaboard uh, to have a place to, to do any kind of work you need. As we come down to the port side aft cabin, the fourth cabin on this boat, you'll notice this great home office area. Uh, plenty of space to keep your manuals, cruising guides, books, complete library. Again, a good size, full size bed. Plenty of light, plenty of windows plenty of airflow and then aft of the uh, bedroom would be another bathroom however the owner has converted this into a pantry and storage area as we walk, walk up the starboard side weather deck you'll see plenty of room great handheld on the way up they're all important air horns come to this gigantic seating area there's a pull-out bimini that can be staged nice chairs up here anything you want down there all of these are great storage areas. Looking up at the flybridge, easy communication back and forth. Your anchor locker, your windlass, your anchor. Real solid walkway. Very stable, very safe.